guys! I forgot to film an intro for this part of the video because I did it a while ago and I actually was contemplating not posting this part because I already shared the final product but it was a process and I figured that some of you may have some questions about different techniques of achieve to achieving this look so I wanted to show you. Anyway, I'm not about to go put makeup or brush my hair right now so no intro on this one uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and show you. We're gonna start right here, which is stripping the piece of furniture and sanding it so that I have a blank canvas and then I'm going to show you how to lime wax, ceruse, white wash, wood bleach, whatever you wanna call it, that white wash look. That's where we're gonna go. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, for the first test, I'm going to use this product called Wood Bleach, and it is actually oxalic acid that is the uh, active ingredient in it. So, per the instructions, you should wear uh, eye goggles and wear rubber gloves. You should protect your skin from splashes, and the wood needs to be free of paint, varnishes, and waxes. Protect surrounding areas and surrender surfaces immediately rinse from glass. Do not mix with chlorine bleach or other chemicals. So, it also says that you need to dissolve uh, the package and it gives you the ratios of whatever you need into the hot water. And then you just apply the solution with a scrub brush. Apply repeatedly every 10 minutes until desired lightness is achieved. So that's what I did and I set my timer and waited patiently for 10 minutes. When my time was up, I went ahead and reapplied as per the instructions. And I reapplied, I did about five coats of this, waiting patiently in between until I finally decided that this was pretty much a waste of time for me. So on to experiment two. Okay, so experiment two is pretty much the exact same thing, except instead of using oxalic acid, we are going to use just regular household bleach, and I'm gonna dilute it in the water, still wearing gloves, and I'm going to use a different rag to apply it onto my drawers. Same thing with this, I applied multiple coats of this, let it dry in between coat, and then I just waited patiently. I did about five coats of this. As you probably already know, this also wasn't my favorite. So we are going to move on to experiment number three and show you what that looks like. Okay, method number three is one that I like to use quite a bit and it is to dilute a, a little bit of white paint into some water. You don't need much, much paint for this. Uh, the trick is that it needs to be watery and thin so any white paint will do. I generally use chalk paint so they are water soluble, no VOCs, no harsh chemicals so that's why I'm not wearing gloves although I probably should. But once you have it diluted you want to apply it onto the uncoated wood so that it absorbs. Obviously if it has a top coat on it, it's not going to absorb. So you can't skip the sanding part on this, unfortunately. So go ahead and apply it and let it sit for just a few seconds and then you're going to wipe it back so that only a little bit of the white paint remains on the wood. Before I move to the last method, I want to show you the comparison. Um, the two drawers on the left, the bigger drawers, are actually the whitewash, and the two on the right, the top has the household bleach, and the bottom one has the oxalic acid. They look a little bit brighter because I am outside, so the lighting is a little bit better, but let's move on to the last method. Okay, for this method, I'm going to use Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax in the color white. And this is one of my absolute favorite products because, not because it is a wax, there is plenty of companies that make a wax. Uh, the reason why Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax is special is because it's water-based. So I don't know if it's technically a wax because it is water-based, but the, the beauty of that is that once it cures, you can actually paint over it and it will not repel the paint. So I'm not planning on painting over this anytime soon, I don't think, unless I get really bored with the final look, which once you see it, you'll understand that I probably won't. I freaking loved it. But the beauty of this is also that because 
because it is a wax, it is also a sealer at once. Oh my goodness, this is why I love it so much. It is so good that I don't have to do an extra step. I can just prep the piece of furniture, apply the wax, and I will get my whitewash finish, and I will also get a protective top coat. So that is the reason why this was my favorite method, and this is what I ended up doing on the entire thing. And I will link the original video where I show all of the steps to get this look so that you guys can watch all of that. For this video, I just wanted to compare and show you everything else. Let me just give you a summary and a recap so that you can kind of gather your thoughts and make a decision for yourself if you want to do this look. The look that I was looking for was a bleached weathered wood look, kind of like driftwood would look. You know, it has that whitewash, it's sun bleached, so natural, but not too natural, like it had some age, sterling, like it has some age, so that's why I went with wax and in doing so I saved myself the step of having to seal it afterwards. I have done another project in the past where I did the whitewash with the paint watered down and I will link that up here as you guys know. It's a beautiful piece. I love that look as well. Just that I wanted something a little bit slightly different for this. It's not that much different. I'll tell you what. It's a little different but not too much. So anyway, between the house bleach and the oxalic acid, I wouldn't bother with the oxalic acid. It really didn't do much, anything different than the bleach, so just dilute your bleach. Sterling, go on. Quit it. Where was I? Okay, so essentially, between the oxalic acid and the bleach, the household bleach, just dilute your bleach and you have to reapply it multiple times. Honestly, a lot of sanding did the trick for me for this piece. That is not always the case. So you're gonna have to try different things sometimes to get the look that you want. Like I said, um, this one, because it's old, it's a vintage piece, it does have some color. Brand new pine, brand new wood, it's not going to have the same color that this has. So this one has been stained. So in the grain, you can see, the actual grain has a lot of darkness from the stain that sit through it, that sinks into the crevices and all of that. So it was ideal for the look that I was going for. My absolute favorite technique is the white wax, but you have to have a piece that has some dimension, meaning that has the contrast of the dark grain with the lighter wood, already light. So I like the wax the best because that saves me the step of having to seal anything after that. My second favorite would be the whitewash. I hope I was able to answer all of your questions and show you what each step and technique looks like. As per usual, there is more than one way to do this kind of look, so hopefully you can figure out which one works best for you. You can also watch other YouTubers, see how other people do it, so that you can get an idea. But my goal was to show you on camera what it looks like so you can make the decision that you need to make. Okay, love you, okay, bye! Living in someone else's dreams.